Hello everybody, this is your Goon 40 here bring Is that a train? Hello everybody, this is your Goon 40 here bringing you the next Elements tutorial. This time we are covering the Rock Hard Earth. It's solid damage, solid health, and it has the only card in the game that can protect your permanence from steel or deflagration. Okay, first time, as always, go to the Your Deck screen, take out all the other cards. You do not need them in any of the starter decks. Next, we take out possibly one of the worst synergies in the game, Life and Earth. We take out all the life cards, with the exception of the two pillars to follow the 30 card rule. You sell all of those. Don't need them. Go to Earth and buy three Hematite Golems. They are a solid, four cost creature for four attack. They make a great addition. Take out the two Emerald Pillars and one Earthquake. Sell those, of course. Go to Earth and buy two Antlions. Antlions are another just two Earth cost, two attack creature, very cheap and very helpful. Take out the other Earthquake and the Enchant Artifact. You do not need them for the low AI you're going to be grinding. Sell those and buy three... Where are you, little guys? Gnome Riders. Gnome Riders are a, two co or a one cost creature for one attack, so you're still getting that same cost attack ratio. Take out your two plate armors, you do not need them, and take out one stone pillar since 13 is a little much. Sell those, and you have your... Darn button. Sell those, and you have your very, very, very basic mono earth. This is not a shrieker rush like I showed in my video forever ago. I think it was like two months ago I showed that. No. We're going to run a simple earth mark, stone pillar, mono earth. This is very helpful. It's very straightforward for your, for what you're going to be doing. Go to the level 1 to fight or level 0 if you're doing the quests. You'll end up doing all one of the same anyway. Level 1, if you don't know already, just plays ran mostly random cards. It really doesn't have a strategy and it's you're almost guaranteed to beat it with any deck. Play all your stone pillars, and if you haven't noticed yet, this is the first video patch 1.25, so all of the new cards got art, and it's amazing. There's new cards and new pillar art, and it's amazing. Anyway, play your hematite golems preferably first, and leave your cheaper cost creatures later on. You don't really need them right now. So as you can see, we already have so much damage out for, what, the second turn, third turn? It's quite amazing for what it does. If you missed that, that card that the AI just played was called a Spark. It's a zero cost creature, so you can use it in any deck, and it has zero health. So what it does is deal three damage, or five if upgraded, one time, and that's it. It's great for activating death effects. As always, you play all of your creatures as fast as you can. Unfortunately, we use the card, or the AI used a card called Plague, and that affects every enemy creature for one uh, poison. So our creatures are mostly going to die soon. Our Antlion, if we burrowed it, which is its unique skill, it would not have taken the damage because burrow is a one earth cost skill that allows it to be completely immune from targeted effects, or even area of effects like you saw earlier. We have a shield here called Titanium Shield, and it's the strongest blocking attack shield in the game, so it's the strongest real shield in the game. It reduces damage by two. So if this was used against us, our Hematite's Golem would only be dealing two damage, and that would be the only damage we have. It's a great shield to use against the lower AIs. We also have a creature in our deck called the Shrieker, and if you don't know already, it's an eight earth cost creature for eight attack, and that alone is pretty balanced. It's a great creature to add. Another creature we have is the Graboid, which if you have time quantity, you can evolve it into a Shrieker, but we don't have that in that case. Graboid does come out burrowed, which is similar to Antlion's skill, except it's immediate. And it's a very nice addition if you want to make a control-based deck. Now that we have our Shrieker out, we should be able to deal we should be able to deal a lot of damage quickly, and that's very helpful against the earlier AI because what you want to do is make as much money as possible and defeating as many AI as possible as quickly as possible. Now that we finished this up, we are only dealt a measly four damage by the AI. But it's all good. If you don't already, you can spin for cards. But unfortunately, against the AI one, we can only spin once, so it's not very reliable. Anyway, that is Earth's deck for today. You can improve it in a thousand different ways. If you want, you can go for the Graboid Rush and change your mark to time. But that's very cookie cutter, and I prefer not to go that route. 
You can take out the Gnome Riders if you want. They're very cheap attack, they're very cheap cost, but some people think it's a waste of card space. It's just a matter of opinion. Hematite Golems are the strength of this deck for a measly 4th cost for attack. It makes a great addition. That is all for today, so I hope you enjoyed that. See you all next time with Dragoon1140 Presents Elements Tutorials, if you want to call it that. See you all later.